Work. At your service. This is the place. It is. Look for an altar. Ancient, but still standing. There! Do you see it? Is all that remains of the great altar. We few who travel far call to me and I will come, without mercy, without fear. Cry havoc in the moonlight, let the fire of vengeance burn. The cause is clear, a very old invocation, perfectly translated. Why, thank you. Without mercy. That sounds rather ominous. Indeed it does. Your companions will need to go elsewhere. Not to worry, if there is shouting, they will hear it readily enough. From High Priest to High Priest, I am the last to drink of sorrows. Come to us, Mithal. Whatever you are, whatever remains, I invoke your name and your power. So this is Mythal. She is a deceiving witch! Now, now, that's quite enough of that. <gasps> what have you done to me? 
I have done nothing. You drank from the well of your own volition. Then you are Mithal? Mithal was an elven god. You, you're... Human? <laughs> Not a word many have used for me in a very long time. I do not understand. How can you be Mathal? Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mithal through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then, you carry Mithal inside you. She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. You hear the voices of the well, girl. What do they say? They... say you speak the truth. But what was Mithal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald indeed, shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. Then you're Mithal and Morrigan's mother. As well as a witch who prolongs her unnatural life by possessing the bodies of her daughters. That's what you believe, is it? I found your grimoire, and I am no fool. Old woman. <laughs> Yet here you stand, bound into my service. My daughter ran from me long ago. I've let her be until now, it seems. If Mithal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves, to everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mithal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth. And I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged! Alas. So long as the music plays, we dance. I know the name Flemeth. It belongs to an ancient Ferelden legend. It says long ago you left your husband for a lover. Your husband then tricked you, killed your lover and imprisoned you. Then a spirit came to offer you vengeance. Mithal. That's what you spoke of. One day, someone will summarize the terrible events of your life so quickly. But yes, I was that woman. That is how my tale began. Flemeth appears in other legends, helping heroes for reasons of her own. I nudge history when it's required. Other times, a shove is needed. <laughs> We summoned you because we need your help. 
against the Magister who grasps beyond his reach. Yes, I know. The voices did not lie, Morrigan. I can help you fight Corypheus. Do you understand, child? Yes. I think I do. Wait! I wish to see who drank from the Well of Sorrows. It has been a very long time. Imagine my surprise to discover it was you. And that is all. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. All things considered, Inquisitor, I now wish you had drunk from the well. Will you be all right? I... am uncertain. What she said is true, at least. I have the answer to your problem. I can match the Archdemon's power when the time comes. All that remains is for you to find Corypheus.
Letters are pouring in from all corners. Congratulations, pledges of loyalty, conversions to Andraste. All premature. Did you find what you need, Morrigan? I can match the Darkspawn Magister's dragon. Yes. As for matching Corypheus, that is up to you, Inquisitor. Believe me, I know. Then all that remains is to find Corypheus before he comes to us. We've been looking for his base since all this began, with no success. His dragon must come and go from somewhere. Oh, what about the Deep Roads? We could send word to Orzammar, a higher envoys too. It seems Corypheus is not content to wait. He's in the Valley of Sacred Ashes. You either close the breach once more, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. I must go now, before it's too late. Is your maker now call him call down his wrath upon me you cannot for he does not exist I am Corypheus I shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger bow before your new god and be spared never as Successful in foiling my plans, but let us not forget what you are a thief in the wrong place at the wrong time an interloper a gnat We shall prove here once and for all which of us is worthy of God I'm the Maker's Chosen. Clever of you. It will avail you nothing. 
You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will. If you desire death, you shall have it. Paparati, nipping at the heels of your betters. You are nothing. All you, you love will be ground under the part of divinity.
will end here! Let the skies boil! Let the world be rent asunder! No, I will not allow you this victory. You and all the heathen barbarians shall burn. is getting bigger! It will endanger the world! We must stop this! of the Golden City, cross the ages. Dumat, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now. Solus? The orb. I know you wanted the orb saved. I'm so sorry. It is not your fault. There's more, isn't there? It was not supposed to happen this way, no matter what comes. I want you to know you shall always have my respect. Inquisitor, are you alive? Victorious, I see. What a novel result. And it seems the breach is finally closed. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold.
A moment, my lord. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. Why would he just leave? Something must be wrong. You said he was upset about the orb. That can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. The fighting's over. Why do they want to meet me now? <laughs> You're joking, yes? They wish to bask in the glory of your victory, hoping that some of it will rub off on them. Everyone knows Empress Selene owes you her life and her throne. A thousand problems remain, and your opinion will be sought on each one, whether you wish to give it or not. I don't see what the fuss is about. Corypheus needed to be stopped. And you are the one who stopped him. Previously, you were an upstart, nothing more than a leader of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Imagining it, or do we have a moment to breathe? <laughs> I can scarcely believe it. The Conclave, Haven. It seems so long ago. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks. The pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference, and that we will continue to do so. That's why we're having this fancy party. Celebrate, Commander. You've earned it. I should be thanking you. You gave me a chance to... to prove myself. In your place, I'm not sure I would have done the same. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. Stop an ancient Magister Darkspawn. Not every Warden recruit gets to say that. Thanks to you, I do. We couldn't have done it without you. You've done enough for me. Uh, forget the flattery. So now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? It'll be a huge undertaking. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. That was the Tevinterest Vint in the history of all Vints. The original mold from which subsequent Vints were cast. And I got to help kick the shit out of him. <laughs> Good times, boss. Good times. There's no one I would have rather had at my side, Bull. Same here. I got to kill another dragon and fight a Vint. Those poor bastards on the ground had demons. The Ben Hathrath are still worried about the Inquisition's power. Happy Corypheus is dead, though. I expect they'll call me back for a more detailed report. Not many experts on demons and old magisters under the cube. 
Inquisition owes you a great deal. Hey, you paid me a great deal. And we're not done yet. Corypheus was a busy guy. I figure we've still got some cleanup work to do. But not tonight. Tonight, we get shit-faced one last time. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, oh, no. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. I'm thinking, this shit is weird. The Inquisitor Trevelyan story. What do you think? It's a working title. I'm glad you've gone back to writing. Well, nothing certain until it's in print. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. You should write the book. I'll see what I can do once I get home. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. Curly needs to win back some of his dignity. They don't want to forget what happened, even if it gives them nightmares. It would hurt less, but it matters to them. The fear reminds people of what they fought for. It gives the victory significance. It's part of being people. I know. I don't understand, but they need it. I, I think I could return to the Fade if I tried. I'm light enough to slip through, but I'd like to stay and help for a while, if that's all right. I can still help people here. For tonight, we remind the world and each other that we're alive. Yes, because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andraste's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for, you know, everything ever again. I mean, is this for us or for her? Or, you know, him? Because I was there and I still don't know what's real. Couldn't it be his will and our effort? Perhaps miracles need a little help. Well, what's the friggin' point of them, then? Ugh, you sound like a sister. I guess you'd know by this point. Seems like you did it right, mostly. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Royo. That's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? Or whatever? This is home, if you'll have it. <laughs> Shut it, you. I cry, I'm punching everyone. All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning. Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. That's what happens when you're a hero. Is that so? Must be why it's so unfamiliar. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Winter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that. And he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. Will you be returning to Devinter now? No, actually. I was thinking of sticking around for a while. You will? Devinter lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep.
Ugh, I should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Uh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. The drinks are fine. It's been a wonderful evening. I hope you're not just saying that. You're not, are you? What a disaster. It was money. It was late. The invitation to our guests barely went out at all. And... and... It was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Vedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. You played no small part in our rise to power. <laughs> you had a role yourself, if I recall correctly. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. But for tonight, to victory. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the petit four. I must remember to thank her for the trouble. <laughs> She's been craving the cakes from Madame Lucien's shop for months. This celebration gave her the perfect excuse. To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry? Build the Inquisition from nothing? Defeat a creature that would be a god? And yet here we are, celebrating. So we should be. Defeating Corypheus was no simple task. He was so confident of his power, he could not conceive of losing. If he could, he would never have challenged me. And he would have gone into hiding. Yes, it worked out far better this way. I intend to rebuild the Seekers of Truth. To make us the order we were meant to be. That will take time. Meanwhile, I am free to remain with the Inquisition. I think back to how we first met. And here you stand. The Chosen of Andraste. Proven in the eyes of all Thedas. And you are my friend. How did that happen, I wonder? I'm pleased it did. You are a great man, and I will always stand at your side. So much to do, my dear. I'll be returning to Valvoyor to organize the Loyalist Mages. The Empress requires my expertise during what is sure to be a difficult transition. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. As a matter of fact, I am. And well, you should. It's a miracle we survived this ordeal. Go mingle. The night is still young.